What's good, everybody? Welcome to episode two of the Contemporary Matters podcast. Once again, I am Brad. My name is Dion, and we are here to wrap up 2023 with a bang. You know, we're going to just pretty much talk about what we got of the purchases, what show releases we got of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to rank them. Like, well, not really rank them, but it's going to be like our top five purchases of 2023. We're not going to be like showing our resale purchases yeah. of what came out before 2023 just strictly what came out in 2023 um kind of give y'all our idea of that right um so we got we're gonna talk about that and then we're gonna probably talk about some other topics about probably like where some of our goals and stuff like that but mm-hmm. for real we just damn I think uh what else we gotta talk about uh probably and uh, uh, NFL. a couple other things coming up you got playoffs about the start we can you know and Super NFL, Bowl coming yeah. up you got uh NBA All-Star coming up yeah halfway over mm-hmm. and we just found out that uh cause we, we live in Ohio it's gonna All-Stars be- NBA All-Star game is gonna be in Indiana this year yeah which is pretty lit that's only like, what like a couple about, hours a couple hours yeah like, it's not bad two hours for real you know if that, depending on how you drive, for real, but I don't know. But before we uh, start with our sneaker clip, uh, our top five, I just want to say happy holidays, uh, Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you guys had a good Christmas. Uh, I hope you guys was able to spend time with your friends and family over the weekend, and you guys had a good time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you do anything? Um, what did I do? I really just spent time with family. You know, that's really all I try to do for real for the holidays. That's what I did for Christmas. Uh, you know, the, um, New Year's is coming up. Y'all probably see this video before New Year's, hopefully. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, just probably do the same thing for New Year's. Spend time with family. Yeah, I didn't really do much for real. Be chilling. Yeah, it's pretty much chill. I ca- I got drunk for the first time. Drunk. Like, in months, yeah. <laughs> I got drunk off, the, off that eggnog. Hey, uh, I can't do it. I'm not an eggnog guy. Hey, that eggnog you know, is strong. Not let, gonna let us know what y'all think. You know, are y'all an eggnog person nah. or not? You know, me personally, I really don't like it for real. Yeah, I got sick. I got sick the next day. Yeah, so. I bet, man. It's, it's, <laughs> it just sounds. Every time I hear eggnog, it just sounds so nasty. Man. Ah, you know. But we gonna start this top five of shoes. So, what do you want to start? You want to um, start me yeah. or? I'll go ahead and start it out. Um, one of my sleepers of the year. I got a couple sleepers in here. And our top five uh, shoes is right next to us. So, uh, for real, do you think we want, you want to do an uh, order or just from? We could take turns, you know. Okay, yeah. that's fine. All right, let me show my first one of the year. Uh, I don't know if y'all could tell by the box or not. Maybe. Uh-oh. 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 My tops of the year were the Burgundy Retro 5s, Ooh. you know. They originally came out in 2006. I got a pair, one of those pairs, but... 2006? Yeah, but I think I bought it from a sneaker con a couple oh, years dang. back. But I needed them, but... I think I was like... The paint started falling off on them, so I, really, I, I had to put them away, you know. But I'm glad these came out this year, so I can actually put on a pair that, you know, it's not going to mess up for real. People were sleeping on them too. Exactly. So to people that like call them, yeah, they they might not come back to the resale. It's it's the resale market. Yeah, you know what it is. But to the real sneaker OGs, you know that's one of them right here. Just know you gotta appreciate these because they might not come back re-release for a while. Yeah, especially how they just released and nobody is really on them like that. Jordan might not might not see those again for a minute. Jordan's taking notes, man. Have you seen this suede? Oh my gosh. I, I love suede. That's probably my favorite thing on a Jordan. It's suede. On it, almost any shoe. It gives anything me like. With, anything with suede is going to get me for real. It gives me like wine vibes. All burgundy. Yeah, yeah. yeah facts. <laughs> but is that your, uh, that's your number five? Yeah, that's my number five. Number five? Number five. All right. So I'm going to start off with my number five. What you got? What I'm going to keep it real. I really. I'm going to be honest, I really didn't buy, I wasn't really able to cop that much uh, stuff um, this year without it being re- uh, resale. Mm-hmm. It was just a tough game out here. I don't know why. Just a lot of shoes that I wanted it just sold out. Oh, I feel that. And then some of the shoes that I wanted that like 
I wasn't really like pressed about it. They end up like selling out, you know, or it was at a bad time. Yeah. So. Sneakers are expensive, man. Like, yeah. They come out every week. Like they gotta chill back and take it back to like 2013. Like when it was every other week at least. But no, for you real. You got five drops a week now. And, and drops ain't paying like that. No, for, for real. real. You know, everybody goes you know through it and everything. So. And I'm just now catching uh back dubs back at the end of the year. Hey, at the beginning, I don't catch them. When, no. when it really matters though, you know like. Around end of the year, beginning of the year, that's when all the good stuff really comes out. Right. So at least you're getting the dubs when it matters. Right, but overall, I'm pretty sure I'm like, with sneakers this year, I'm probably like 0 for 28. Yeah. I mean, no, not 0 for 20. I'm probably like 3 for 28. You look like the Detroit Pistons right now. <laughs> no, <Nah, laughs> for real, though. I wish, if I show you my yeah. uh, do not, didn't get them things, man, it's a whole yeah. little list. Facts. But my top five, these just literally just came out probably like last weekend. Um, you know, I like them. People have kind of slept on them, but not really. Hey, those are slept. Uh, hey, people Nike, really slept on us. The Nike Dunks uh, bacon, based off of the Air Max ninety bacon's that dropped a couple years ago. Those I still need. Slept. I still need. Uh, still need a pair of these. But Let's see. I'm mad. I passed up on these. They're decent. Not gonna lie. They, they in women's size, so I think that's what a lot of people turn them off on because the quality they're on them's real good. Got some. Tumble leather on there, you know, nice thin look. It kind of gives you like a SB tongue type of feel. You know, it's not a SB, but you know, feel the tongue. You know, like it gives, it gives you gives you that type of yeah quality getting better. You know, on some dunks, not all, not not pandas, but <laughs> <laughs> some dunks though. These are stuck. Shit, my pandas. Yeah, you know, they just make them so much now. Buffy, you know? look. Quality, but he's talking about that tongue. It does give you that SB quality. It gives you SB feel in a in a premium dunk. Mm, premium. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Not gonna lie. Those are slick. If you, if you, get it, if you got a chance to get a pair of those. They got small yeah. sizes up. So like, if you small feet game, uh, check check your local uh, check the Nike app. You might it still might be on here. Yeah, better grab them. Mm -hmm. So this is my top five. Number five. Yeah, number five. My top, oh, I'm gonna watch that top five. Yeah, this is my number five number right five. here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, all right, let's get into number four, mine. Uh, let's see. Came out earlier in the year, I would say. Uh-oh. Another shoe I don't got. I took an O on. Thunder Force. Damn. One of my favorites, you know. Originally came out in what 2013, re released 2023, 10 years later. If you didn't get these, you slept on them. I did slept on them. But you're gonna have to get you a pair, you know? But <laughs> gotta catch my resale. But these for sure, you know? Gotta wear it with my, my Laker gear, you know? Go Lakers, you know? Dang. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Dang. I, I ain't gonna lie, I've never seen these in person, but... I know, I'm so these? glad because my 2013 pair, they started <laughs> separated in the heel, and I had to put them away, just like how my other shoe, you know? Mm -hmm. They started messing up because they're so old. Oh, it started crumbling? It started... It wasn't crumbling, but it was just, like, separating Dang. in the heel, so I'm glad these came out this year, too, for right. I can re retire my old pair, you know? They go hard, man. So, which one do you prefer, the lightnings or the thunders? Thunders all day. Thunder. Thunders all day. Do you like the original thunders or do you like the red thunders? That's a tough one. I ain't gonna lie, cause my favorite color is red. But I gotta keep it original. You know, these came out first. Mm -hmm. You know, so I feel like these are a little bit better. Did, anyway, did, I do like the thunder fours, the red thunder fours, but. Did you hear about the rumor about the uh, about there being a white thunder for? I heard about that. The puzzle be punch be, be yeah, a, a, we'll, we'll, a we'll get into that soon, though, y'all. A panda four. Yeah, early early look into 2024. We're gonna do what we what we think is coming out. You know, I saw that. <laughs> uh, we'll give them a little sneak peek. You know, mm -hmm. into all that. All right. All right. What's your number four, man? My number four is ah, uh, <clears throat> like I said, I wasn't really able to cop. 
that much for retail. But for when I did, for when Kanye was on his BS and you know Adidas starts had to sell his inventory, so was able to cop some foam runners for retail. Hey, I messed with the foam runners. And this I, your first pair of foam runners? These are my first pair. What you think about them? These are comfy as hell. I'm not gonna lie, I wear these almost every day at work. Yeah, I feel that. And you gonna be on your feet long, you know, got a lot of walking to do and everything. Hell, people at my job talk shit about these, not gonna lie. <laughs> Only because they they compare the uh, artist with the shoe, but uh, sometimes I mean, you just gotta- You can't do that You sometimes. can't do That's that. Like, they probably still listening to Kanye's music. Yeah, but, man. But they gonna hate on the person in the shoes. You can separate the artist from the shoe. It's his, you know, it's his art. For I forgot what's the uh, name of this uh, colorway is. Mm, what's the, the, uh, uh, we we gonna find out and we'll let y'all know. If I do it, I'll video. add it in. But yeah, I forgot the name of them too. But the but foam runners. Get you a pair. They may be. They may. They like some ugly ducking, ducklings. You know. Some people they might they may be ugly, but to some other people people these are fire. But like I said, these are pretty much easy Crocs. Like that's pretty much what they are. And they better than Crocs. <laughs> like, that's Speaking of Crocs, <laughs> I do got a Croc on my list, but we gonna talk about we, that we'll later. Wait, we'll wait. We're gonna wait we'll like wait. that. But these are these are my uh, four. Number four. Number four. No, no, my bad. Number three. My bad. Sheesh. No, that was number four. Yeah, number four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. You're right. I'm yeah. getting in number ah. three. Ah, that's all right. <laughs> All right, let me, let me show my number three then. Another sleeper of the year that y'all could probably still buy them right now if y'all could find them, but. That's what I think they are. What I think that? Ooh. The the fear threes. Big, big, I, I say it's probably the biggest sleeper of 2023. Other than the uh, War of Ones reimagines. Those two, I, I still didn't get them yet, but. Yeah. I, I still want them. No, I still, but, that's that's next on the list for because they, they still won't, sitting on Nike, sitting on shelves, and every you can get a discount. Store. Yeah, for, you, you can get them for forty percent off, probably all discount that. code. Yeah, but the, these are getting there too. I've been seeing Dang. these. Like that's what I say. If y'all see these, you know, pick them up. I'm telling y'all, by next year, y'all gonna be looking for them, and y'all gonna be salty. You know, but. You know, originally came out in 2013. This one, another one, ten years later. Yeah, I didn't know, you know about that. Mm -hmm. I, I missed out back then. That was when I first started in my little sneaker game. But you know, ten years later, got I myself a pair. Go ahead. Mm. You know, I'm still hunting for the Fear Fours. Uh, and this texture. If y'all know anybody Fear Fours, size 11, 11 and a half, drop in the comments. You know, Message I need them for a good price. Look at this quality. That's another one, like, with suede. That, mm -hmm. That's why I always wanted them, like, the suede on the suede. three. And then, you know, the, the dark three. dark colors in mm -hmm. it. I love a dark colored shoe, you know. So I'm what's usually not a big or fan of orange, but sometimes I like some subtle. I think that's why my people turn, them, uh, turn people off is yeah, the orange. Yeah, for sure. That's what it was. But Could they quit be. the box on Shattered Backboard. <laughs> but but. This, this hype beast, you know. All right. But this, these are pretty nice. Yeah, that's probably my big. That's probably my sleeper of the year for real. When it came out, uh, what is it? 06? No, oh six. No, no, 2013. 2013. Yeah, originally they had, 2013. Did they have an uh, the Nike Air in the back? Mm, that's something I I don't I don't think so to be okay. honest. I don't think it was ever a Nike Air. It's always been. A I got a quick sneakerhead question. Does the does the a Nike Air in the back makes a difference on the shoe? Let us know. Like. Like, if it had the Nike uh, Air in the back, would would this would have sold I bet, out? I bet you if it had Nike Air on, on the back, you, you it think sold it would sold out? out for sure. That's crazy. It, it, it matters to re resellers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So all that matters. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of do like the Nike Air in the back. I'm not gonna lie. I like it for sure. I prefer. I do, but yeah. I do understand they only do it for like OG colorways. So they're not gonna do it for like the for sure. You know, new newly colorway. Yeah, but this is the second time it came out. It's not an OG for real. This is a, you know, mid twenty thirteen release. I feel like if a shoe came out 
10 years ago, it should be an OG, and then they it, should just have like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's when they should we gotta come up here. to it. I ain't gonna say I wouldn't call it an OG. We gotta come up with a new name, like how Kobe did the '80s or something. We gotta come up with a, a, with a new name. New name. Stay stay tuned for that, y'all. I'm gonna come up with something for y'all on that. All right. So that was your number three. Yep, number three. All right. My number three is all right. Um, we was just talking about it. Huh? Probably. Uh, I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. Mix these, up. Hey. these aren't mine, by the way. These are my girls. I got a dub. It right matters though. Mm -hmm. If you, you if, if you, you purchased it, if you see the uh, <laughs> paper, you already know what they are. Which one y'all think it is before he opens it up? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ooh. Got the bubbles. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Them are so slick. They are. Uh, I actually do got my own pair of the bubble, uh, pop up girls, but I don't have this colorway. But looking in, in up close in person, these are nice. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of my favorites from the mm -hmm. bunch. At first, it was my least favorite of the three, but by the end of it, it probably turned into my most favorite. But it, to me, it looks like the most wearable one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So these are definitely slick. Your girl is gonna be set with these, you know. Yeah. Get it? She got a good one, and you, right. you know. I, so. I, yeah, I like the detail in the back. You know, the little eye it gives. It gives like the. It gives the shoe character. You know. It's pretty dope. You know, right now it looks like a little minion right now, but. <laughs> you said a little minion. <laughs> it looks cute, but if you got two shoes out, it gives like a little. It does look like a man you know, with, the, with the yellow. <laughs> hey, it does look like a man. But you can tell me this quality. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those are slick. Though. Those are slick. Like, look. Got the little tags as bubbles. If you got these, make sure you wear these. Like, this then, is a must wear. Like, must cop, too. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're even going for too crazy then, right now. Look at the. Oh my gosh. The detail. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's dope. They did a I, good I, job on these. I heard they're supposed to be doing, I don't know if it's real or not, but they're supposed to be doing the Mojo Dojos. Really? That's what I heard. And that's supposed to be a friend's and family. Yeah. Uh, Deet, would you get go for them? For sure. He is my favorite character in the show, to be I, honest with you. Really? I like the Rally Rough boys. Yeah. I'm pro villain. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> But <laughs> yes. they be having the realest backstories. You they, know, do. they don't be their fault for real. So. They really don't for real. I used to I ain't gonna lie. I had a you said I used to have a crush on Miss Bellum. Miss Bellum. <laughs> Her little faceless fine ass. Hey, <laughs> hey you can't they tell me nothing. Mean. Gonna tell you nothing at all. I mean, especially when that uh, fight scene. I swear, cartoon characters were the best back then. You couldn't tell you me know? shit when that fight scene with Miss Bellum and that uh, Medusa, Sedusa, and that pool, bro. <laughs> what, 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 when they got hey, wet, they was going at it. They I think at it. I found love. That was that was the moment for you. That was. That's when I, I knew I became a man. Hey. Like what Drake that, that, said. That's what showed you differently. Yeah, huh? like, like what Drake said. That's when I knew I became a mad man by the age of six. <laughs> hey, by the age of six. <laughs> by the but, age of six. But this is my top. This is my number three right here. Number the three. bubbles. I bet going in number two now. Mm -hmm. Top two now. You know, I'm kind of gonna follow you a little bit with the uh, with the wave a little bit for oh. not my number two. Oh shoot! If I could tell by the box. I kind of might know a little something. I can tell by the paper, but. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got the blossoms. Uh-oh. I was uh -oh. pretty stoked to get these. Damn. I don't know how I feel about on the wear yet. I want to wear them, but I just don't know what to wear with it yet. But one of these days, I'm, I'm aware of these. But. Damn. Damn, they look nice. I know. The details, I like the little heart. Oh my God. Like, to the 
people. See that? You see the little heart detail? Yeah. Look inside. The, detail. the details, bro. Look inside. The you comics. Think get a pair of these, salute to y'all, man. Like, like, look at the detail. Look, look, it says Blossom. I really want all of them, but Same. I was able to get at least one of them. And look at her little smiley <laughs> minion. <laughs> These are tough. Yeah, for sure. The leader, and, and she was the most limited one, too, mm -hmm. out of the three. Exactly. That's what's up. I set it right here. Set your old blue one up here. Oh, I, set yeah. up, I set it up together. That's two. All right, so that's number two? Yeah, number two. All right, that's your number two? All right. So, my number two, right, it's going to be, not going to lie, it's, it's kind of like the same colorway. That's a little hint, but... For right now, my number two is hey. is the Shrek Crocs. Croc boy. Mm -hmm. If you don't like Shrek, something's wrong with you. Yeah, Shrek is a that's Cla a good show. It's classic, bro. Like that's the re main reason I got this shoe. Especially number one, like the first one. It's so they are so hideous that they're beautiful. People were sleeping on these. Them sold out too, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. They sold out pretty quick, I think. I actually got these on an online raffle. Oh, damn. Yeah. You got lucky then, for real, for real. I, I didn't even know Crocs did an online yeah, raffle. For certain ones. Like, I know when they did it for the Shrek one, they do it for like the Scissor collab. I didn't even know they did it for the Scissor ones. Yeah, it was a couple different collabs. The Cinnamon Toast Crunch ones. Oh, damn. Little stuff they did, little raffles. Yeah, I didn't know about that. On Crocs, though. you We live in a day where we got to do raffles on Crocs now, but. but. These are, them are dope though. These are really comfy. Like, when I tell you that, like, I'm pretty sure you've seen the, uh, this, if you've seen the episode one vid, these are pretty much it. They made it to the, my top two, hey. you know, they made number two. The detail, y'all. The details, the man. Detail. Look, look at the dirty detail, man. The nose. Look at the soft strap, man. Like, they did their things with this. The license, the official license thing. Yeah, that's dope. They did their thing with these. And I ain't gonna lie, I got a lot of compliments when I went to so stores. You yeah, I wore these. Yeah, 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 you got to. I, I, I wore, uh, <clears throat> wore these to stores, not gonna lie. I had a couple family members ask me what I got these from, you know. They, I, you can't even find them now. Mm, I, see, I ain't gonna lie, I, I seen a couple Sold people. Out. I seen a couple people try to uh, take some up, uh, pictures on the side on low key, man. <laughs> they were trying to. Yeah, man, pictures. they try to be like some on some undercover, like, hey. Yeah, like, like, hold up. Hey, like, what's on his feet? Like, shh. Yeah, and I saw them close by. Yeah. People sleeping on them. So, you know, hey, if you got these, that's what's up. They know they're comfy. That's man. a sleeper for real, you know? Mm hmm. It really is a sleeper, man. But I need I need to get more Crocs, man. That's my goal for next year is to get more Crocs. So I do need some more. I usually use mine as house shoes, but I'm not gonna lie. The one thing I, I do like, like the different designed ones, though. Like, the, like when they do collabs like that, like the Shrek one. You know, mm -hmm. I, sh I should have got the Spider Man ones. I wish I got those ones when they came out. Oh yeah, uh, those are pretty dope. Right, <clears throat> but they're always doing collabs. So. Yeah, they do. But I ain't gonna lie. The only thing I don't like it might be me. People in the chat, uh, in the comments, keep. Uh, I don't know if it's me, but sometimes when I wear Crocs, my the socks uh, twist, and it kind of like I don't know. It kind of feels like it's like kind of like tightening my socks whenever I walk. Really? Yeah, it's like whenever I don't think I, that ever happened to me. Yeah, it's like whenever I, I don't wear, wear I don't wear mine enough. You probably wear yours like through the day or something. Yeah. I don't I don't wear mine enough. So. Yeah, maybe it's the way I walk or something. But it's like <laughs> every, but it does. It's the same thing with these too. The foam runners, like oh, yeah. maybe yeah. it's just like the style of the shoe. Maybe yeah, could be yeah. Because because like, Crocs and foam runners are similar in feel when you have them on. Because when I tell you, whenever I have a pair of socks. Like thin ass socks. At the end of the day, I will get a fucking hole in the in my heel of the sock, and I got to throw them out now, and it's annoying. Dang, I'd be salty. Yeah. That's kind of reason why I kind of been like and not been so much clubs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm been messing all your socks. Right, that's literally why I asked for Christmas with some more some socks. socks. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's that's always one of the best gifts. <laughs> so you some know, socks. You can't go wrong with no socks, man. Exactly. But that was my number two was some Shrek Crockies. So, it's a good purchase. A good purchase. It's not bad, especially for retail. You can't beat that. Exactly. Uh, getting into number one. Mm -hmm. Got a surprise for number one. 
Uh oh. They still in in the shipping box. Dang. Uh oh. For these. The world class premiere unboxing. Yeah, unboxing for my number one. Damn. Purchase of the year for me. Big Kobe fan, you know. Rest in peace to Mamba, you know. This was a must purchase, man. Got got blessed with the sneaker gods on sneakers for these, you know. Hey, I'm gonna keep it real, chat. He didn't even tell me about this, man. He told me he took an L, I man. I told him I took an L. I, I was waiting for this, <laughs> This motherfucker lied to me I, and shit. I was shit. waiting for this, y'all. It had to be a surprise, you know. He didn't feel my pain when I took an L, man. Oh, my gosh. He shared with me his pain, but I wasn't feeling it because I had him the whole time. <laughs> he had my mentality. <laughs> Bro, oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's definitely going to be a good wear. You know? Dude, the quality. Exactly. Sheep. I probably won't hoop in them because it's not you know, my preferred hoop size. I had to get a size 11, but my preferred hoop size is 11 and a half, but... That's probably just gonna be a wear for me. It's not bad. You gonna wear these in the streets and to the people? Facts. Oh my! Look, Look at that, that. detail. Still, snake skin. Oh my gosh! And I'm not gonna lie. This is the first time I've seen Kobe's in real, in like, in person. I never like really like seen Kobe's in like real person and like. Yeah, man. Yeah. But these go so hard, man. The color. Kobe's, man. One day I'm gonna have to. Dude, my How my Kobe collection. I probably got like 15 pair of Kobe's, you know, mm -hmm. in my my sneaker collection. Sheesh. One day we have to show it off for. You can find it out. Yeah, you can find it out. Coke, man. Yeah, my 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 sneaker purchase of the year, man. Once I got these, I was like, that's all I need. This is it. He don't know. I can wear fit inside a size 11. You can't wear an 11. <laughs> Yeah, his toes gonna be busting out the side, <laughs> hey, and they run narrow. So, hey, it's okay. Can't wear that. It's okay. The pain, the, it's gonna the pain will numb away. Yeah, facts. But as long as you got them, huh? I still can't <laughs> believe, man. These still go hard, man. Yeah, facts. That's crazy. I wasn't able to get the original Grinch, but I got a got the reverse Grinch. Damn. Yeah, that's what's up, man. I've been trying, but. Sneaker, sneakers, God bless him. I was not the chosen one. Actually, I, I missed it on my account. Shout out to my girl. Cause she hit on her account. Ah. Me. So, shout, shout out to her, you know. Shout out to the plug. Exactly. Damn. That was geek. Yeah, I need to start having a plug again, man. <laughs> but for my number one, um, the reason why I put it number one is because this is like my first uh, <clears throat> sneakers, you know, the first like sneakers dub I, I got all fucking year. Oh, and you gotta, you gotta show it off. Yes, it's my number one. Like, I, you don't understand. Like, I've been trying on the sneakers. So I've been trying to get something on, off the sneakers app all year. And I've been just taking straight L's, like L's and L's. Like, literally, like the fucking Pistons right now. Like the Pistons. Like the Pistons, man. Like until now, maybe twenty eight. Until now, maybe twenty eight is their the last game they'll they'll lose. Right. Because after you took after you went on twenty eight, you took a dub on these. Right. So. Any so anything's possible. Pistons winning their next game. Put y'all parlays on that. I got who they facing next game. I don't even know, but I'm I'm calling it now. Let me check real quick, man. Uh. <laughs> they facing the Raptors tomorrow. Oh, they, yeah, they got it. They got it. <laughs> they got it. They just got Jalen Duran back. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, hey, Cunningham been going crazy. That's. Maybe. That's that's where they in they street twenty eight. Maybe I mean calling it now, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. They almost lost to the Celtics. I mean, they almost beat the Celtics. So I know they possible. almost beat everybody. They, but at the fourth quarter, they. They came. They came back from a twenty point. And the other team even putting their reserves in. Yeah, that's crazy, that's man. Wild. 
But my number one is, as I was saying, is a uh, sneaker that I've been taking L on. Um, I really love this shoe. You know, it's part of the part of my childhood I've been growing up with. And you know, he already seen it. This was the other two out here. Kind of adds to our little collection. You know, but, but you know, it, it fulfills the collection. But this this is like me, man. I'm Buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, got that. I know, that's the one I originally wanted. Got these. That's probably my, my favorite one of the bunch. And you can the... tell that these are made out of different material out the other two. I just can't tell, but. I think they're all made out of different material, to be honest. I think they are. I think the. The blossom is like suede-ish, new buck material. The bubbles is more like a, I don't know, I can't describe this one. Yeah. I don't know, like a, a tumble, a tumbled cloth material. Yeah. It's like a cloth filled material. And then, and then the buttercup is smooth. Yeah, you can just like. Like a buttercup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but as I showed it to the people, man, yeah, look at slick, these man. inside, and you can tell the insoles are different from each different from the other three, other two. But look at that, man. Uh, yeah. hey, that's dope. I, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of already wore these already. I couldn't wait. Hey, you good, bro? Couldn't wait to bust these out, bust these down. Yeah. Hey. And, and you can tell her frown because she knows she wear does. your shoes. Like you got See, to. These came out with. Less than two Last weeks week, ago, yeah, and he already wore them. Y'all gotta wear y'all shoes, man. Got to, you know, the trio, the Christmas, you know, the Christmas shoes that came out. We are pretty colorful up here. We are, man. And these literally just came out like two weeks ago. <laughs> but yeah, that's our uh, top five top five purchases of twenty twenty three. Tell us what y'all think. Share with us, you know, what what y'all like, you know. Tell us uh, what your top uh, five sneak, uh, sneaker purchases was this year. Mm -hmm. If you, uh, if we, if we post our IG handle, you know, y'all can message us what y'all top fives of the year. We can post on our, on our page, you know, what other people around the world, around the country, you know, their top five, y'all top fives too, you know. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll set the link down for you guys for that. Yeah, just comment. It don't even gotta be like retail purchases. It could be resale. Yeah, just yo, whatever you got. We just wanted to make it a little trickier on us. A little for trickier. The year. A little we we could have went resale and, and it could have been a whole different game. But mm -hmm. like, I ain't gonna lie. I bought some blobsters this year. So See, I he, he, he flexing right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. You know, you know I, I bought some lobsters. You know, I, you know, I had to. Yeah. It was only right. Hey. To me. To me. You don't got to, but to me. I wanted them, so I got it them. Exactly. So I had to. I had. I yeah, I did. I had, yeah, to. It had to. For a good I know, deal. I want the purple options bad. Mm -hmm. One of these days, when when the funds are right. One day. For sure. You know, I scan for mine. So. Hey. Shh. <laughs> they ain't got nothing. They, they don't got, got nothing. Nah, they, they don't got nothing. Oh shit, my bad. Yeah, nah, <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Forget what I said. Exactly. Forget about what I said. Exactly. But uh, I think on to the next uh, topic, um, yeah. NFL. Um, Super not that long ago. Up. Yeah. Not, yeah, not that long ago. Probably like, well, like, probably like an hour ago, the Browns just clinched the playoffs for the first time in a minute. I think the first time since I was born, for real. Nah, they but probably made it one other time. I think so, but it's been a hell of a while, man. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Cleveland. That's where I'm from. I'm proud of them. Browns. If, if, you, if you're a Browns fan, you know <clears throat> where we came from. You know, we came from like... I know, I know Cleveland jumping right now. Oh, he's yeah, jumping, man. They, they about to be partying all night. Man, they talk about like... they, they uh, Cleveland's jumping right now. Like, if, if downtown you ever been, is... If you've ever like, been to Cleveland, you know how the fans get for their team. Shit, I've yeah. got a notification talking about it's... Uh, the, the, the floors is uh, jumping right now, man. Yeah, I bet. So that's what's up, man. I hope they. I don't have expectations for the Browns, uh, like for real. When, I really don't. I'm just glad they actually was able to secure it. But you know, if they could go beyond further to like maybe even like the the 
conference finals. Uh, that's hey, kinda, that's tough, but you, you never hey, know. Anything's though. possible. They actually man. had a good season, though. They went 10 and 5. Yeah. It wasn't for injuries. They probably could have did a little bit better, mm-hmm. to be honest. But. Lost a lot of our top players. Exactly. But we somehow we we doing good, man. Yeah, what's your predictions for Super Bowl? Uh, uh, that's, that's probably like a month away, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, Super Bowl. Uh, I I probably think it's gonna be set. Uh, Forty Niners and Ravens. Forty Niners, Ravens. Yeah. Who you got on top? I probably got Ravens. Ravens on top. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think I'm thinking. You know, I got a rep. A little bit, so I gotta put the Cowboys in. There. Ah, you know, I gotta ooh. put the Cowboys, but I, I do want the Ravens to go too, though. You know, Lamar Jackson has been having a good season. A lot of a lot of expectations were put upon him this year. Yeah, he, I feel like he's overachieved. Why he wanted, why he should be paid, you know, a Lamar. Yeah, yeah. why he should be paid, you know. Didn't he get that contract though? But it, it just took a lot, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, you know, it was just a lot of controversy behind it, but I feel like he's back in it now. You know what I mean? Right. That's my favorite to really win, but I can't keep, keep out the Cowboys, you know? Mm-hmm. You never know with them. That's true. The Cowboys. Mm-hmm. Um, I probably think the underdog. What, what do you think was well, like one like underdog team that you want to win? One well, underdog team? That they want to go to the Super Bowl that you wouldn't expect. It got to be the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions. I think they they right now they ten and four. So. Ten and four. They they got a good chance, you know. We we, we kind of came up with a you know an assumption about them a little bit, you know. <laughs> it, it could be it could be the reason why the Pistons are doing so bad right now, you know. They kind of sapped all the energy a little bit from the Detroit Pistons, you know. Man, to a winning season in Detroit. The but, Pistons, man. I feel, but, hey, I feel bad for them Pistons, man. One, one team got to win it, you know. One team got to bring it home. Damn, man. And, and the only one with luck right now is, is, is the Detroit Lions. <laughs> hey, man. If the Lions win, man. I just need the Lions to win for both, like, the Lions and the Pistons, man. Just yeah, for the they, whole they Detroit. Gotta do, they got to do it for Detroit. They got to rep for them. <laughs> they do. Because Detroit is struggling right now. So. Facts. But they always, but you, have you always noticed, like, one, like, for multiple sports teams, it's always got that one good team, like, that one good sports team, the other, and then that other bad sports yeah, team. it's always like that. Yeah. It's like, it's, it gotta be like that. They can't have multiple good teams. Yeah, but, I mean, unless uh, you're in a big city, big yeah. market. It's the, it's, it's the small market team. Yeah, unless you're like fucking that. Los Angeles or fucking New York. Facts. Right. Maybe, maybe Florida, too. True, for, I forgot yeah, about that. Miami yeah. Is the, that's about it. Damn, I did forget. Yeah, they are eating right now. Yeah, yeah Miami. Miami. They would be the teams, to be honest. When it, yeah, that's crazy, man. That but is. I probably yeah, I ho- I really do hope Detroit win. <clears throat> but yeah, I just honestly, I just don't want the Cowboys to win, go to the playoffs. I mean, uh, he, he hate <laughs> it's all right. Just I just don't want right them now. to win. I am hating a little bit. It's all right. But, you know, hey, anything's possible, man. It's just, to be honest, at the end of the day, it just depends which team's that most healthiest. Mm-hmm. Like that's, I said, that's, that's what matters. The Browns is fucking like, the Browns are loot, don't got like 10 of their people right now. Hey, but at least hey. they still made it. We somehow still made 10 it. And five, 11 we and made five, it how? We made it, we made it with faith, with luck. Hundred <laughs> percent, like probably like eighty percent luck. Gotta have faith in them, bro, bro, there were some games we were not supposed to win. Gotta have faith. In bro, them. was that one last week's game against the Bears? Was that one hell Mary pass? Oh my Got gosh, lucky, we got hella lucky, bro. <laughs> that shit bounced hey. off his, the person's leg. Like we got, <laughs> bro, we got we were we not supposed to be what we are. It's kind of like we're kind of like the Miami Heat right now. We're not supposed to yeah, be right. We're not they, supposed they to always be. end up popping up, but they're not really supposed to be there. We're not supposed to be there right now. This I can year, see it. I can see it. hey, but the underdogs usually, you know, come up top usually. But yeah, I can see that. Just maybe sleeping on them. They do. They do. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, At NBA. Who do you think? Like, what's the Kevin Durant thing? Do you mm-hmm. think? Kevin Durant is gonna 
go. Do, 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 do you think he's gonna uh, request a trade? They're an all so. they're, uh, all-star. All, all-star. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Or maybe it's gonna be like off season. I don't think he's gonna request a trade at all because they could still turn it around, and they're not even healthy yet. Yeah. They won their last game. Bro, bro what's up with Bradley Bill, man? I don't know. He just keep getting injured. He probably just don't want to play. I got I him. Know. Man, I got him in my fantasy, man. I, I got him on my fantasy team. Be able to use him, huh? Nah, he. I like no. He just in my IR uh, injury reserve yeah, list, man. and like he ain't doing nothing. He ain't do nothing with him. But I did read that he may be questionable, upgraded, upgraded to questionable on on Friday's game. He just needs to sit out for a little bit longer, to be honest. Because every time he play a game, he sits out for a couple of weeks. Play a game, sits out for a couple of weeks. I'm gonna keep it real, Bradley. Bro, if you sit out, if you play this game and you sit out the next game. I'm dropping your ass off my team. You gotta drop <laughs> I'm dropping his What's bro. the point after this? He is just wasting space. Facts. I mean, he's not really because he's on an IR, but it's just like, yeah, but it's, it's just other people you can pick. Yeah, up. but it's like when he's eventually is able to clear, I gotta drop somebody off. Exactly. And I don't is he even gonna is he even gonna be producing good numbers? Right, right bad? now like, I can't tell. He's making my team look bad, man. Facts, facts. KD I, been hooping. I think he had a triple double in this last game. KD is who? Yeah, KD. I, I feel like he has to take another role now. He has to become a facilitator because nobody else wanted to be be a facilitator for real. Devin Booker just want to shoot. Yeah. You know, KD got to be, be that facilitator. You know, he the the leader of the group for real. Yeah, KD hooping. He's bro is thirty five years old and hooping. He is hooping right now, man. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a big Lakers That's fan, crazy. but KD's probably my favorite player in the league right now. That is crazy, man. To Bro, be honest. All these old people are hooping right now, man. Exactly. Bron. Bron. Oldest uh, player in the league. Mm-hmm. I was going to say Chris Paul, but... He getting there. He's yeah, he's he, he, he the second oldest, I think, in the yeah. league. Under Steph, LeBron. Yeah, Curry Steph, getting up there. Yeah, Steph, yeah Curry he's getting up there. They've been turning it around. Eric like Gordon. Boy. <laughs> Dang, did you hear about Aaron Gordon, bro? Nah, what Dang, about? I just actually saw something today about that. Uh, over Christmas time, uh, he had to get like 20 stitches to his face because he got attacked by a dog. Nah, bro, that's Aaron Gordon. That's what you said. I said Eric. Oh, I sound like you said Aaron. Ah, oh, damn, my bad. My bad. But, but nah, but yeah, Aaron, I think Aaron, Aaron Gordon, Gordon yeah. yeah. Aaron Gordon get better, man. You know. Yeah, what what happened to that situation? I just I just heard an article with dog, and then just like. Uh, he said a dog attacked him what? during Christmas time in what? the face. Was it his dog? I, I didn't. It, I don't even know. Damn. I'm thinking so. Might have been his dog or a friend's <laughs> dog or something. They got to be somebody he knows. But damn. Damn, that's wild. I wonder what kind of dog it was, man. Same. You can't like. You gotta say it's like a big ass dog, man. You can't say like it's like no fucking small ass dog. It ain't no, can't be no dog. little dog. You can't say it's like no fucking chihuahua, man. Yeah, no ankle biter or nothing. Yeah, you can't go out. You can't go out. Or shit zoo or something. Yeah, you can't yeah. go out like that. It's, get bit. <laughs> it's, it's messed. Like <laughs> if he got bit, like if he got bit by Aaron Gordon another way after that, bro. If he got bit by an ankle biter motherfucker, you gotta keep that shit to the grave. Facts. I'd rather just say I got I got robbed at that point, Facts. man. Facts. I would, I would just say Great Dane got tapped me <laughs> or yeah, something. You, you gotta make it a bigger thing. Man. <laughs> for real, for real. I'm like, I say this little chihuahua, you know. Mm-hmm. He bit my face because I tried to get a get a toy out of you know, <laughs> reach for the toy. Oh, hell, no. <laughs> then you got attacked and mauled by a chihuahua. Right, man. You gotta nah. kick that little Charlie Brown up, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I would. You'd have to, man. You gotta defend yourself, bro. Boo, man. But. Uh, who do you think um is gonna be uh gonna make the All Star team? Actually, give us uh what's your uh uh All Star team projections? Yeah, like starting lineup mm-hmm. for East or West or both? Uh, you can do both. Both. All right, let's start with the East. All right. Uh, sleeper candidate, uh, Tyrese Halliburton. If he ain't, if he ain't a starter. He's gonna be reserved. It, no, I'm just saying, if he's in the starter, it's a problem because he's been hooping. Yeah, like, he's been one of the best point guards. Oh yeah, especially he is instant indie, so they they got to exactly. they got to represent. Uh, who else? I think probably Jalen Brown, Dude. Jason Tatum. They've been they're probably number one in the East, so they go definitely have two All Stars in there. 
You think Jalen Brown is going to become a starter? Hey, uh, I think so. Damn. I think they, him and Tatum going to start. Just, oh. just how good they're doing. Over Damian? Yeah. Damn. For sure. I, if anything, Dame's a reserve. Ooh. You, you really ain't been here, Dame's name this year. That's for, crazy. You know? Damn. Yeah, about, been then you got Giannis. Oh, he's, he's, probably, he's probably my four. And then my number five. Probably be Joel and B. True. That's my star five for the East. That's if Joel and B don't get hurt. He's gonna be named a starter, yeah. but he probably get a a replacement or something. Oh, yeah, true. All right, and from my West All Stars point guard, I'll be Steph Curry. You yeah, know? like Steph Curry ain't starting in it. It's a problem. Mm, West is kind of tough. There's a lot of good teams in the West. It really is. Two guard. I'm about to switch it up for his. Maybe go Shea Gilgis Alexander. Yeah, he just. They've been playing real good. Shea, yeah. Um, gotta have LeBron in there. He's gonna be the three or the four. I, ain't, I don't know which one yet. Probably, I think probably. The Dang, three. I forgot about somebody else too. Luca. Oh, yeah. Luka. He gotta be in Luka there. match. He just dropped 50, so yeah. yeah. Luca gotta be a starter. Mm-hmm. Then you got Jokic. Nikola Jokic at the five. That's probably the starting five right there. Yeah. Curry, SGA is probably could be a reserve, but that's my starting five. But SGA, Bron, Luca, Bron probably be at the four. Luca probably be at the three. Yeah. But and then Jokic. Mhm. That's probably my that's last probably five. That's probably my bad. All right, I think all right, mine. All right, my for the East. For, all right, for my for the East. All right, mine. Definitely gonna be Giannis in there. Yeah, you gotta have Giannis. Uh, he's a, he's a lock for real. If he ain't starting, it's a problem. I'm trying to think, point guard, point guard, point guard. I would, dang, I would say Trey Young, but Trey Young was he's not really been. He he been playing good. He but been. They team ain't been. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they haven't been consistent. I do like Trey Young. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> let's see. Dang. We oh. Yeah. He's got like like a lot of sleepers. Like they do. Uh, it's a lot of sleepers in there. You can yeah. I probably do Tyrese for a part. Hey, I thought about him. Yeah. I did think about him, but I, I like Halle Burton. Yeah. I probably have him up for my uh, point guard, shooting guard. Mm. Damn. Uh. Damn. It was tough, huh? Dude, it is tough. Uh, I'm a lot of two guards for him. Uh, let me see. I can name a couple. You got. I don't think. Because I really don't think Jalen Brown deserves to be a fucking. Sp- <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't think he deserves it. But just going based off how the Celtics are doing, because mm-hmm. they number one in the East right now. And they're like undefeated at home. There we go, Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole. <laughs> <laughs> he might not even make it. He's not. To be honest, he's not. He ain't even gonna make it. He's not. What's wrong, shit. Jordan Poole? Man. <laughs> Jordan Poole acting the fool right now. He don't want to be in Washington. That's what it is. No, wait, he just want to get traded, and then he gonna show out again. Shit, I think isn't Washington. I think Washington is getting traded. I heard about. Oh that. yeah, they're supposed to be moving to uh, Virginia. Like, yeah. yeah. Virginia Wizards. Yeah. Or they gonna change the name. Yeah. That should be interesting. That's wild. Yeah. It's way really crosses uh it's not that far to be honest. Yeah. They're pretty much in the same uh district. It's wild. It's not. Yeah. So mm, it's kinda hard, man. I already know. Eh, fuck it. Fucking small four, I'll probably do Jason Tatum. Yeah, Tatum gotta be. Yeah. yeah. Power four, I'll probably do Power Siakam. Siakam? Yeah. Hey, bro. And then, probably center. Siakam has been hooping. Mm-hmm. Scotty Barnes been hooping too. I mm-hmm. forgot about Scotty. He should be a reserve at least. Right. I forgot Scotty's a big man. Yeah, he is like a power forward. Mm-hmm. They both been hooping. Was that my five? I think so, because you said he honest too. Yeah. All right. So what about five? the West? All right, West. All right. So we got LeBron. You know, that's no brainer. Yeah. Um, Curry. 
Oh, are you... Man, I'd rather do Seth Curry. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, nah, I'd rather choose Scoot Henderson. Scoot? I don't know about that. He's going to be getting the Rising Stars. But oh, yeah. That should be interesting. He'll be in that. Um... Uh, I probably do. Not gonna lie, I would probably have AD on there. I thought about it. It was close for me, but I forgot about Luca. True. AD has been hooping though. If anything, AD over LeBron, but it's tough. True. They would just do, you know, they just gotta have LeBron. Yeah. I probably yeah, Luca. Um, damn. Point guard. Fuck. It's only one right answer, man. Man, I guess Seth Curry. One right man. Answer. Unfortunately, Seth Curry. You know, best point guard in NBA history. Some bullshit. But yeah, it gotta be Steph Curry, man. It's gotta be. Luka, <coughs> LeBron, AD, and then who's my small forward? Because I'm out I'm of LeBron, I power forward, AD yeah. at center. And Dang, then. That's a Oh, yeah, Kevin Durant. There we go. There we go. That's what it is. Kevin. I forgot about Kevin Durant. There's so many good people in the West. Yep. Devin Booker playing good. He's going to be a reserve, though. Yeah. But. Low-key Chris Paul, but like I said. Nah, man. I don't know about Chris. <laughs> <laughs> he coming off the bench in the NBA. He ain't making that. You know, Austin Reeves might make it, you know. Yeah, that's crazy if Austin Reeves make it. He actually get a lot of votes, you know. Oh, He's yeah. He's going to be a reserve. Shout out to Austin Reeves, you know. Yeah, but hopefully you know if we do go to Indy, you know we're gonna uh, take some rec- uh, pictures and recordings. Yeah, definitely you know? have to show y'all what we what we experienced there for NBA All Star 2024. Yeah, that shit gonna be jumping. It's though. coming up February. You know February, you think the 16th to the 18th. It's coming That's up bad. quick. It's right Def- around the corner. Definitely got y'all to go there. Yeah, facts. But all right, but we uh, as we wrap up the video, I think we should just talk about. Uh, 2024 is uh and what we should uh and what we gonna bring into 2024 and what's our goals you know yeah, we kind of you know um want to be posting more you know show more content to you guys you know even if it's not like full podcast videos but at least like um do weekly or bi-weekly unboxings of what we purchased uh showing you know like uh like how we were saying a little bit earlier in the video let us know what y'all top five of the year like show people that you know show daily wares or weekly rotations uh music we listening to on a weekly basis you know little things like that you know kind of want to post a little bit more and share more with you guys for 2024 what you think yeah uh, probably that and just probably like <clears throat> just try to be more consistent with this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just tr- consistency like, is key, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just try to like, just be kind of like really like try to you know make that the game up know? a little yeah. bit. That's why I kind of you know want to do things in between. So if it's not a full podcast video, we it's something. We, we got something. We upload something. If yeah. it's not on YouTube, we upload on TikTok. If it's not TikTok, we upload on Instagram. Exactly. We upload it's on gonna something. Be something. You know, on, yeah. at least on a weekly basis. You know, so. I want to get it to where it's like every other day, you know, we could post something, but, you know, we got to take baby steps to get where we want to be. And then, uh, as, uh, yeah, even if, uh, if, or if we're not recording, uh, one of us could be streaming, you know, on Twitch. Exactly. So yeah, we do want to be streaming, you know, playing games, you know, mm-hmm. share the different games we play, you know. And then probably. Yeah, probably connect with people on there too. Oh yeah, you know? for sure. Different streamers, you know, do a little different lives and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then, you know, you're kind of going to start us out in 2024. I don't know if you want to let them know a little bit about our, our upcoming, the next upcoming video. Yeah, I'm going to start the uh, the next video after this. I'm going to start my uh, end of the year sneaker collection. That should uh, be posted up sometime here soon, along with this video. If not, it might take a, lot, a while, a little bit for me to edit because I do have a lot of sneakers. I'm going to show y'all everything. Everything. I think Everything. last thing I count, I think I have like 130. I, I don't plus, so yeah. that's the last time I count. Sure, yeah. So it might be a little bit more. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna start 2024 off right. You know, a whole sneaker collection. Y'all yeah. gonna get to know me. Exactly. And get a little personal. You mm-hmm. know. So that should be For interesting. Sure. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. 
Definitely. I don't even know everything in that 10 year play. You probably got some sleepers in there that I don't even know about. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I forgot I got some shoes. Facts. Yeah, it's yeah, been a while. Definitely. That. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Hopefully, some of them haven't been crumbling. Exactly. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be sick. Hey, gotta wear them. It might get you to start wearing stuff, to be nah, honest. For real, though. That's my next, that's my goal. Also, goal for next year is to like wear some of my shoes. And then, like, also, I'm gonna try to, uh, collect more Nike SB Dunks. That's my own personal goal. My sneaker uh, goal is to collect more SB Dunks, especially from resale side, just because, like, I've just been, like, a really big fan of Dunks lately. So, I just really want to add those to my uh, collection, especially, like, the old ones, especially, like, from, like, the ones that's been, like, older ones, like, from, like, the 2005, 2003, and, you know, pretty much, like, from the beginning, you know, from, like, mm-hmm. 2001 when they first started all the, old, the OGs, OGs you know, mm-hmm. you know what I want to go skaters from. only skaters used to wear back yeah. then yeah. pretty much from where I didn't know pretty much everybody was sleeping on them and mm-hmm. yeah and only you can't people, find them now yeah yeah, yeah. So. I do for 2024 I kind of want to like go back through my shoe collection there's a lot of stuff I bought over over the years like just out of you know out of nowhere you know that I really didn't need I feel like, you know, so I kind of want to go through my collection and get rid of some stuff to buy stuff that I want. That's probably one of my goals for 2024, too. But, yeah, we're going to... going to get to it, y'all. We're going to get to it, man. We're going to make that shit happen. But is there uh, anything uh, we should say to them as we wrap up? I think think they got to the, the point of most of it, for real, for real, you know? Like, comment, subscribe, you know, share. Yeah, just be on know, the be on the lookout for our next vid, yeah. you know. Got something coming for y'all, like Dion said, his collection, you know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's uh, some stuff to see, you know. And it's not just one side. It's going to be a, a lot of, uh, you know, variety of things. So, yeah, next hopefully year. Hopefully y'all enjoy that. Next year, I'm telling you, it might be our year next year, man. Exactly. Forward we to just it. gotta stay believe, just stay, just stay, stay positive and make sure we have fun about this. That's what a lot of people forget about. They don't, they stop, they just, they just uh, pretty much focus about like the money the and money. like you gotta money. have fun with it. We enjoy yeah, doing yeah. this stuff. It's like, like that's why we wanted to share with y'all our top five purchases of the year. You know, because mm-hmm. we enjoy sharing to y'all what our interests are, what we like, and, and then just bringing a different viewpoint to. You know, two people who just live in Ohio, you mm-hmm. know what I mean, compared to the rest of the world, you know. Right. Just give a different twist on things. Just interacting, just in, interacting with people with the same interest as us, exactly. and, you know. So, that's Got the main coming. thing. So, but yeah, man. Um, 2024, here we come. We're off to something. Happy New Year's, y'all. Happy you know, New Year's. See y'all in 2024. We out, man. Peace out.